Universal's making a few changes and they're making me sad. Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick here. And despite those few sad changes, there is one thing that's giving me hope that I would like to share with you today. So what are we waiting for? Let's step inside of Islands of Adventure and see what's new. The Christmas crowds are here, so we will check on the Two Park Unlimited Express Pass in a moment. But this is the time that I am sure to use valet because the security at valet is way quicker than getting through security at the hub. Well, I don't like the look of this sign. Velocicoaster must have uh, opened delayed today. Sign says it'll be open later though. Looks like Universal or someone has been harvesting the bananas. Maybe it was Minions. Price check on the Two Park Unlimited Express Pass reveals. Wait till next week after Christmas when you hear the price. Some of the information I intend to share with you today, straight ahead. Some of it directly behind me. Other information is going to be to our right. That can mean only one thing. Let's start over here in Marvel. <laughs> oh, what a stinker I am. I see one of the claw games inside the arcade is using the new Islands of Adventure logo. The construction walls that were once around the Spider-Man shop have moved. But we can see some chalk outlines on the sidewalk here. Maybe some more work is to be done. A lot of these spots where the construction walls used to be, they have these etchings or markings on them, so I'm expecting construction walls to come back. Also, while the construction walls have been up, they've been doing curb work, which I don't think they're really done. I think they will come back and paint the curbs. The construction walls have moved over here to Dr. Doom, surrounding this whole facade. Speaking of Dr. Doom, it's a 60 minute wait. Yowza! That's 10 minutes longer than the Spider-Man ride. We can see they are utilizing the outside queue for Spider-Man today. Dr. Doom most likely a longer wait time because of lower capacity and it is a slower loading ride. Top Glow is still offering Christmas themed prizes, but they have brought out again the Jaws characters as prizes. I love the Jaws plush as a prize, but it has to come with the, uh, <laughs> the crying girl. It doesn't, but it looks like a set to me. I've teased you about some sad changes Universal is about to make. I've teased you about something hopeful, but I forgot to tease you about some awesome news here in Toon Lagoon. So let's just cut to the chase with this awesomely good news here in Toon Lagoon. Marmaduke is back. Now he is still off leash, but he's back, baby. The weather is so good here in Central Florida today that this little water effect, the thunderstorm effect here in Toon Lagoon, it's not even raining. But for some reason, they don't have any of the water effects going today. Not a one of them. But the water feature is not working, will not dampen my enthusiasm about Marmaduke being back. Being a slightly cooler day today means not a high demand for the water rides at the moment as Popeyes and Ripsaw Falls are both walk-ons right now. Some of the sad news I have for you today is right here inside of Jurassic Park. I will share with you now that the little baby Triceratops character interaction they would do here in Jurassic Park has been discontinued effective immediately. So in other words, it's gone extinct. But that is not the saddest news I have for you. The really sad news I'm saving for the end when we get back to the port of entry. But wait, I almost forgot. I do have a little tiny update for you regarding this attraction right here. Scream, splash, laugh. The Jurassic Park River Adventure. They've improved the on-ride photo. You now have the option for a lenticular 
picture. I think that's how it said. I probably messed up the word, but it's one of those that kind of gives the picture a 3D effect or some slight movement. That is one of your options now. As we walk this way to check on the Velocicoaster, do me a favor and subscribe to this channel for all your Universal Orlando content, but also check out my description box. Links to all my channels are in there, especially I want you to check out and consider subscribing to the Cozy Coffee Break channel. I think you're going to enjoy it. Well, they just moved the status of this ride to delayed. Right before I turned on the camera, it said a 120 minute wait, but delayed? That's longer. By the way, I just overheard an endorsement for the Express Passes. A dad walked by with his two girls and I overheard him say, the Express Passes are worth every penny. So I guess they're getting a lot of good use out of those today. The Velocicoaster was not a very long delay. It's running right now. Into Hogsmeade we go. I'm a little surprised considering earlier we saw a Velocicoaster at a two hour wait. That Hagrid's is also just, and I say just lightly, a 120 minute wait. I mean, two hours is still a long time, but I thought it would have been longer. Today in Hogsmeade, Vlogger Frogger has been set to expert level. All right, we survived that level of Vlogger Frogger. Made it through Hogsmeade into the Lost Continent. Remember that hope I teased you about? Let's talk about it in here. The old Poseidon's Fury attraction. Seems like a good place to say what I gotta say. I am on high alert, and you should be too, regarding maybe an announcement having to do with the Lost Continent. Now, I don't know if that announcement will come on Christmas as a Christmas present to us, or maybe at the start of the new year as a way to kick off the new year, the year 2024, on the right foot, but now is the time to have your radars up for a Lost Continent announcement. And that's all I have to say about that, for now. From the hopeful words of the Lost Continent into Seuss Landing, which I just remembered some sad information to share with you guys. This was not a part of my tease at the beginning of the video. I just recalled this now, but let's go in here and let me share it with you. But first, let me share with you the wait time for the Grinch. 330 minutes. How many hours is that? I did the math. That's five and a half hours. The best way though to meet the Grinch is to do it at rope drop. I talked to some people today. They did rope drop and they waited just from eight to nine to meet the Grinch. So just an hour for them. And now for that sad news that I forgot but then remembered about. The Circus McGurkis, which is still under renovation behind construction walls. Now typically, when a restaurant goes under renovations, it reopens with some type of slight menu change. And we think that's going to be the case with the Circus McGurkis. Now this was not officially announced by Universal, I don't think so. But I think a leaked version of the new menu has been out on the internet. And one of my favorite meals at the Circus McGurkis was the fried chicken breast with cornbread. This leaked menu doesn't have that. So we'll find out when they actually reopen it, but I hope that's not the case as that fried chicken and cornbread, I thought, was one of the best quick service meals here. And speaking of food, I still need to figure out what we're gonna have for lunch today. And do I wanna do the really, really sad news before we eat or after? You know what? Let's do it now. Let's do it before we eat. Here is the sad news, the saddest. Evicted, they're being evicted. The citizens of the Port of Entry and the pirates of the Port of Entry, that little character interaction that happens here, going away, being terminated on January 5th. I think January 5th will be the last day the citizens and the pirates will be in here. Um, as you know, I'm here a lot, so I interact with the performers and the characters all the time because I'm here, they're here, you know, play around together, have a good time. Uh, 
So personally, I'm really upset about it. I'm sad to see them go. Uh, I wish them all luck in their future endeavors. Maybe some of them will find other homes here at Islands of Adventure or at Studios, but uh, sad news indeed. Time to take Taylor Swift's advice with that sad news and shake it off. And in this case, also walk it off as we go find something to eat. And oh boy, am I going to treat myself today. I'm, I'm being very kind to myself today. Uh, I mean, what I, actually, what I actually mean to say is uh, I've had this before. I've reviewed it before. But for the sake of you guys, I need to test to see if they are consistently good. So today, as a professional courtesy only, I'm going to have the Wimpy's Wellington Burger. An awesome burger. Well, the last few times I've had it, but like I said, I do need to test it for consistency. That's the only reason why I'm having it today. Let's go get it. The Wellington Cheeseburger served with curly fries for $16.49. Cheddar cheese, tomato, lettuce, pickles, onions, and mayo ketchup. And this will be a quick food review as I have reviewed that Wellington burger before. My opinion has not changed. It is like the best quick service hamburger you're gonna get in a theme park. Now, I say quick service, so I'm not including like finer restaurants like Mythos or some type of table service restaurant, but for a quick service counter service restaurant, you're not gonna find a better hamburger fat thick and juicy just the way I like them also I like mayo ketchup I also like mayo mustard but the mayo ketchup on that is really really good so I wanted to test the consistency is it good all the time so far I have not had a bad one I'll have to try again soon though won't I I do have something else on my agenda for today so let's go find a shop that sells some Harry Potter merchandise my hat looking kind of ragged. Have for a new one. Hopefully they have one for sale inside of the trading company. They have a bunch of them for $29 a piece. Well all right I have my hat right in this bag. I'm not gonna wear it. It's actually a Christmas gift from Nikki so I've got to wait a few more days before I can put this on but that's it for today. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Go enjoy a cozy coffee break.